Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at the document ready functionality and how we can use it in our page to perform a specific set of operations when we load our page. Now, the document ready functionality is part of implementing jQuery and setting everything up. So when the document has loaded, uh, we can actually start to perform a specific set of functions um, or something within our page. Um, this is uh, important because we don't always want to just allow a user to click something and then perform an action. We might want something to happen as soon as our page is loaded. And we can also use this um, as an example of uh, implementing jQuery uh, in order to for something to happen when we start our page up. So let's go ahead and start writing out the code. Now I'm going to create um, an area here which is a div and I'm going to give this div an ID and then I'm going to simply close it here. So the ID is just going to be message and this is going to be welcome to my website. Now the main aim of this video is to when the page loads we want this to automatically fade in. So so we need to make this um, div actually initially hidden. So I'm going to um, use an inline style attribute, which I highly uh, discourage. I'm just using it for the purposes of this tutorial. Obviously, if you're using CSS, it's uh, extremely um, good practice to put this in a separate file. However, just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to uh, use the style uh, attribute. So um, I'm going to say display none and this will just hide this uh, the contents of this div uh, when we load up our page so let's refresh you can see that we have nothing although we do actually have a div here now what we're going to do with jQuery is when the document loads we're actually going to fade this div in so it's the opacity is going to start at zero and it's going to graduate and eventually be at a hundred so a hundred uh, percent visibility so uh, we have jQuery included down here, however we want to create an another um, file uh, which handles um, the fading in of this div. So let's go ahead and create another file and let's just save that inside of our JS folder and I'm just going to call this init.js. Now I've called it init because it's um, this is short for initiali initialization or initiation sorry. Um, and uh, inside of here we're going to actually use the document ready uh, functionality so I'm going to use a dollar sign and I'm going to say document then I'm going to say dot ready so this here is the function ready this here is the reference and that's the reference to our overall document inside I'm going to create a function and I'm going to create the uh, blocks here and I'm going to pull that down so essentially now what we've done is in here after our document is ready everything inside of this will be uh, run okay so we can either call external functions for example we might have a function up here called load posts um, and we could say when the document is ready load posts okay so that's an example of what we could do however just for now we're going to create uh, some simple functionality and just embed it within this function so what we need to do is we need to reference this ID which has an ID of message or reference this div sorry which has an ID of message so let's go ahead and do that so dollar sign hash message remember we're using hash to reference the element dot fade in and then we're going to give it an, uh, a parameter of fast and this will just fade it in quickly. In fact, let's just do slow so we get more of the effect um, visible. So now what we've done is on the document uh, ready status, we have faded in using the fade in function at a time of slow. You can also use um, a numerical value in here, so an integer such as a thousand, which will be one seconds because this is uh, one second because this is in milliseconds um, or you can use textual representations of speed so I'm going to uh, use sorry not show slow and this will fade in the message div so remember we've initially hidden it however this functionality will actually start to gradually show it until it's at hundred percent visibility so let's go ahead and just refresh the page 
okay so it's not working and yeah I I know why it's not working uh, we've created our init.js file how we've not included it onto our page so again this is extremely important we create a script here to include this external file so the type is text forward slash JavaScript the source Again, we've saved it in our JS folder, and this is init.js. So let's go ahead back to our browser and refresh again. And you can see that this div has just faded in. So using the um, ready um, functionality uh, and referencing the document, we can perform a series of operations um, based on when the document has loaded and uh, we can then you know, do things like call external functions for example to load um, a specific set of news or anything so this is an extremely useful part of implementing jQuery to actually allow you to perform things when your page has loaded